Before we get started with today's episode, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Our first sponsor today is Atmos Planning. They do financial planning in a very unique way, so check them out. Our second sponsor for the day is Planet Duct. They do air duct cleaning, but not just any air duct cleaning. Super professional, high quality, and registered with the National Air Ducts Association. All right, so that's our sponsors for the day. Thank you very much, and let's get started. Welcome back to the COS Business Podcast, the number one podcast in Colorado Springs. <laughs> I'm sitting here today with Nolan Stevenson with uh, Black Spruce Group uh, Realty, right? Yep. All right, sweet. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do and who you are? Um, it's funny because I was kind of joking. I was like, wanted to say something funny. So I, typically what I tell people about what I do is that I open and close doors for people. Okay. <laughs> you know, just a simple thing. But no. When you're a bellhop? <laughs> yeah, right, right. No, in reality, um, you know, I help people um, achieve, achieve lifelong wealth through real estate. Mm -hmm. um, and the ways I, I like to do that is, is through education and just providing value to people. Okay. Yep. So sweet. We'll get into that and like learn more about your yeah. journey, maybe some things, some tips you might know. Mm -hmm. But first, we'll roll the intro music and then we'll get started. Sounds good. <laughs> this is a show where we have real conversations with entrepreneurs and business owners who are mostly in Colorado Springs doing things in the community of Colorado Springs. It's a, it's a it's like a radio show in, in, up in here. I like it. I like it. <laughs> up in her. <laughs> yep. All right, man. So, so what got you into to to want to to do do this specific thing? And then what is this specific thing? <laughs> yeah. So I guess real estate in general, um, mm -hmm. it for me was very attractive. It, so throughout school, I went to college um, and just was always kind of the type of student that could do really well um, by exerting little effort. Um, you know, I was, I was a straight B student, as, okay. I, as I like to say. <laughs> um, but, you know, I had the ability to get A's. But there was uh, a gotcha. one <laughs> class in college, uh, it was a real estate class, and it was the only class that fully piqued my interest mm -hmm. and, and kind of uh, got me researching and studying outside of class um, okay. and really wanting to know more about it. So that, that was really kind of where it started. I think it all kind of stems from just my personality. I'm a very uh, I like to kind of juggle a lot of things at once because mm -hmm. I can get bored doing the same task over and over and over. So real estate is perfect for that because you get a little bit of marketing, a little bit of sales, a little bit of, you know, analytical kind of that nerdy side. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a lot of creativity that goes with it too. So it's, it was just perfect to fit my, per, fit my personality. Great. So uh, that's kind of what led me into real estate um, in yeah. general. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I can go into kind of, how I kind of started Black Spruce Group, um, and and what kind of guided me into that. If yeah, you, yeah, definitely. I, I, I'm definitely interested in that. Yeah, tell me a little bit about that. What, yeah, what, how, so, how did the company start? So yeah, so I've been in real estate about five years now, um, and uh, started Black Spruce Group um, late last year, actually. So November is about when I started, or so. Okay. Um, it kind of stemmed from a Facebook post, actually. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it was kind of a situation where it was like oh crap, like I got to figure out what to do now. So I made a Facebook post. So my one of my biggest competitive advantages with, with what I do is I offer a flat fee to the listing side of real estate. So if, if you're aware of how commissions work essentially in real estate, is you sell a house, seller is the one who pays out the listing agent's commission fee and the buyer's agent commission mm -hmm. fee. Um, typically speaking, it's 3% on both sides, mm -hmm. so 6% total. So I offer a flat fee of $7,500, um, which, you know, for me is, is, uh, enough money to create a successful business, but also provide value to people and help them keep mm -hmm. some extra money in their pocket. Cause that's, that's kind of my core belief. And, and I don't want to take advantage of people because instead of a, a percentage, correct. you have that flat fee. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So whether your house is $300,000, you're still saving 1500 bucks with me. Or if your house is worth five hundred thousand dollars, you're saving seventy five hundred dollars with me. Okay. So for me, it's I'm providing a service. Here's the things that I do provide to sell your house. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I saw it in a way that I don't want to take advantage of people. You know, it's it's mm -hmm. kind of weird to think about it. You know, and it's kind of always bugged me the whole time I've been in real estate. Um, the fact that because your house is worth more, I'm going to charge you more money to sell it. I get you. When in yeah. reality, I mean, you know, all things considered, but in reality. For me to sell a three hundred thousand dollars house versus a, I probably would say up to about six fifty seven hundred. Mm -hmm. It's about the same amount of effort, about the same amount of work. You know, I'm gonna go above and beyond whether your house is seven fifty or it's two fifty. Yeah, I'm gonna provide the same set you know pattern, 
and, and same marketing techniques to sell that house. So mm-hmm. it didn't make sense that I'm going to charge you more because you have more money. You know, you don't go to the grocery store and they ask you what your net income is. And you say, oh, it's $100,000. And you are like, oh, well, that uh, gallon of milk is going to be 5 bucks for you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but you make more money. For sure. You know, so that's kind of what that post was about. And uh, I got a text from my broker that I was working with at the time. I won't mention any names. Um, but you were, they, you were shaking up some... Uh, shaking it up, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot. And, and, you know, for me, I saw that, you know, it's a good thing that people are kind of not on board and scared about it. But essentially got a, got an email uh, from my broker saying, uh, we don't support this. Um, you're going to have to find a, find something else. We'll give you a few days to, to do that. So okay, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a bit of a shock. Honestly, I thought maybe there would have been some conversation back and forth, but um, there wasn't. I tried it, but they weren't having it. So, um, you know, kind of had that push and, and, you know, there's been instances in my life where this has happened where it's like, again, one door closes, another door opens. And so I saw that door mm-hmm. and I took it and now I'm you know, doing my own thing, which is awesome. Yeah. So now I get to keep 100% of everything I make and give that back to my, my clients. So For sure. I'm loving it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, so that's your competitive advantage is, 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 is what you'd say. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's interesting. So, the, so, th- so how's that been? It's been good, man. I've been getting a lot of good feedback. Mm-hmm. Um, got a listing that hopefully will be coming up this uh, this summer. Again, eight hundred thousand plus uh, house of the monument. Um, they're gonna be saving a ton of money, but you know they're they're good friends, uh, past clients. But um, you know it's it's gonna be it'll be my first listing with my my flat fee. Okay, um, sweet. So I'm excited to kind of give it a test run, and see how it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I've ran the numbers myself on the side, and I know I can be profitable with it, but. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to like go all out for it, you know, and show people that it is doable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you and know that what this I mean? is a an actual service, totally. and it's it's sure. not fake. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you know, I guess some I guess what's your biggest challenge is uh, in this. You do you think I could see yeah. some people uh, because you're you're not doing it traditionally, may, they may like be like, okay, what's going on here? Kind for of sure. be a little skeptical. For sure. Uh, I could see that being an issue. Is has that been one? Yeah, totally. You know, I, I, I tell people all the time, like, um, if you go, if you're another agent and I'm an agent, we go to the same house. And I got to fix your, screen, your camera. <laughs> oh, no worries, no worries. My bad. <laughs> you're good, man. I was like, you're, you're a little bit out of center. All right, so my bad. No worries. I'm paranoid about that. <laughs> oh, good. So where, where's my bad? Where are you at? Uh, so, so, so say, for instance, you know, we got a seller. You're an agent. I'm an agent. We both go to the house and ask, you know, what your fee is going to be. Because that mm-hmm. typically comes up in conversation. Um, you know, let's just say it's a $500,000 house. You say, well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be five fifteen thousand dollars for me to sell your house. So I go and I say it's going to be seventy five. dollars mm-hmm. um, And it, naturally, I think as humans, when we see a high price and we see a low price, mm-hmm. typically we think, well, what am I missing Perceived out value. on? Perceived value. Exactly. Yeah. Like, what's it, why are you so cheap? Mm-hmm. You know, I've, I've gotten that question. Why is your so low? You know, and I, I counter it with, you should be asking why is there so high? Mm-hmm. Because I can make I can make a successful business out of doing what I'm doing at this price. Mm-hmm. Um, and very counterintuitive to uh, what I'm doing as a profession. Um, but I do believe that real estate agents make too much money for for what they do, especially in today's market. Okay. <laughs> with, with how realistically how easy it is to sell a house right now. Um, and it, it just, it's just an old, old industry mm-hmm. that needs to be shaken up mm-hmm. and, uh, it's coming and I'm trying to get ahead of that. Um, oh, for sure. And be yeah. one of the first <laughs> to kind of see it and, and do something about it. You're kind of like a whistleblower. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, man. Like, yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've totally said, uh, you know, I talk to my wife all the time. Like, man, sometimes I wish I could just like, share some of these conversations that I'm having with agents, mm-hmm. you know, and I don't want to put people on blast and like, you know, put their name out there and like throw them under the bus necessarily. But there's, there's a lot of people that don't get treated well, um, within transactions. And I see a lot of that because obviously I saw I'm in it, mm-hmm. you know, a lot like a real estate agents or, or, Correct. you know, buyers and sellers. Correct. But okay. real estate agents, okay, um, not treating their clients well or, or, or to the best of their abilities. Okay. You know, I've, I've seen it, you know, I've seen it all, you know, and, and, and it's, it's tough because I don't, I don't have communication with, with their clients, mm-hmm. but I, I, there's instances where I see that they might be able to make a little more money on selling this house, but their agent's not willing to really fight for it because mm. they don't got, they don't have to, and their clients don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so 
it's funny that you say I'm a whistleblower, but I, I truly like, <laughs> I think that, you know, we're, we're coming to an age where like transparency is, is becoming more and more of a value for people and they want to see that transparency and they want to see the ins and outs of how it works. And so I'm trying to kind of bring into, bring people into that a little bit, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, so it's, I dig it's that, good. dude. I think that's Thanks, awesome. Man. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what's what's the if if that's like a challenge? What's mm-hmm. the what's the upside of this? I mean, I think honestly, you know. So going back to kind of my my point about real estate agents make real estate agents making too much money. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's kind of crazy because if you sell four or five homes a year, you know, and you're making three percent on selling them. Um, you know, and if every home, you know, our median home price is about four hundred thousand dollars right mm-hmm. now. So that's twelve thousand dollar check, right? Mm-hmm. So if you sell four homes, you make a forty eight thousand dollars. That's not bad. I mm-hmm. mean, obviously, you, you know, the brokers will take a cut, um, which I can get into that. But uh, how brokers, what's the average? Uh, how many houses does a typical agent sell in a year? I would say an average agent probably does sell about four to five homes. Okay. Yeah, average. I mm-hmm. mean, obviously, there's top ten percent in the city that are doing you know ninety percent of the the sales okay um, yeah yeah with with any industry you know that's that's kind of the case mm-hmm. but your average agent's probably making about 50k a year um, which is not that many homes four or five homes mm-hmm. just crazy so there's not enough experience that's not enough uh experience for somebody to be really good at their job mm-hmm. um so i i've had the, i had the honor and blessing to work with uh, work alongside an agent that had been doing it for 10 plus years and you know he was doing 30 plus deals a year mm-hmm. you know so he's he's a top five percent agent in the yeah. in this in the city but for me i got a lot of experience mm-hmm. with that and and for me it was it was a good foundation of like knowing real estate knowing how to sell it knowing how to talk to people knowing how to negotiate all those things um but i can't imagine like if i only did five a year like i still would know what i know today mm-hmm. so it's just that's why that's why like i truly think that real estate make too much money because they they only need to sell four homes and like they're getting by they're doing all right you mm-hmm. know um, that's why, like, I'm, I, I'm trying to get ahead of it. You know, I think, and I think if, if we were to price our services more competitively, mm-hmm. it would weed out some of those agents that, you know, are just doing four houses a year and nothing against them. Mm-hmm. You know, it's tough, but you know, there, a lot of people get into it so they can, you know, sell their brother's house or sell their neighbor's house. Yeah. And, yeah. And, you know, they don't really know what they're doing and, and that's, one not helpful for clients and also you're putting yourself in a really or for the economy situation. for real estate too but yeah <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah. so that's why you know that's why i think that's the upside hopefully maybe you know but other, that means you have to sell like six to eight houses just to make the same amount yeah yeah and it's doable you know okay. like i can i can oh because you has that the experience you you're already going yeah, to be hitting yeah. for a higher mark anyways for sure yeah i mean like I would love my, my goal is to do like two to three a month. That's like my goal. Cause mm-hmm. I, it's, it's totally achievable. You know, I'm a big uh, proponent of systems and processes mm-hmm. and you know, there's a lot of things that can be automated within a real estate transaction. Um, and I try to do that, but you know, obviously step in and, and have that face to face and that personal conversation mm-hmm. with people when it's needed. Um, but that's, that's kind of where I see the upside. I help help people kind of, uh, kind of start looking at me and they, and they start thinking, oh shoot, well, we might have to come down a little bit on our mm-hmm. prices because I, I think that will eventually, hopefully, level we, out the playing field a little bit. Yeah, you know? weed out some people because <laughs> it's tough, man. Like you know, like if you've been doing it for fifteen years and I've been doing it for five years even, uh, and we both go in, we're both at three percent. Naturally, people are going to take the person that's been doing it longer. Mm-hmm. Not that that's necessarily the right thing, um, because I, I do believe that. You know, there's there's young agents out there that are grinding and know their stuff and probably can outperform somebody that's been doing it for 15, 20 years. Mm-hmm. But I do think it, it, it provides me that competitive advantage where I can come in and really provide more value to the client and and hopefully, you know, still I, mean, I can still pay, stay profitable with that price. For sure. Um, but obviously, like, you know, my, my goal is eventually, like, as I, you know, get more experienced and, and – become more valuable to people, mm-hmm. I might be able to raise that price up a little bit, you know, and, mm-hmm. and reward myself a little bit, but still, still be way below, you know, no, for sure. Standard. So you, 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 you have a feeling that this will allow you to have more volume, uh, with, with the competitive price essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah, and hopefully, you know, put some fires underneath people's butts a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how do you how do you feel about uh, wholesaling? That's a that's a different industry kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's the same industry but different style, I think. Oh totally, <laughs> yeah, my it's funny. My buddy actually texted me about this uh, yesterday. Um, you know, I haven't I haven't really dug into wholesaling a whole a whole lot. Okay. Um, <laughs> I know it's it's doable, um, but in this market, it's 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 kind of tough to to find those uh, those hidden gems. Mm-hmm. Um, but honestly, you know that's. That's something that I just honestly haven't even had time to even really. It's not your. Think about. It's not your wheelhouse. You're focusing yeah. on something else. Yeah, for sure. Okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got I got lots of stuff that keep me busy. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just interested to see see what your perspective on that was. Yeah. Uh, because I'm working with someone who is a wholesaler. Oh, uh, f- For video work, awesome. and you know, just yeah. was like just to see both sides. You know, get 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 a view of of what the benefits are from either. Cause I th- I'm pretty sure there's pros and cons for both. Yeah. And, uh, there's different, a different pers- type of person would be wanting to do, I think wholesaling versus, mm-hmm. uh, hiring an agent, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. So, so wh- 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 where's your, what's your plans for this business? Where do you plan to go? You know, man, I actually, I, I see this business being more than just Colorado Springs. Um, I would love to grow it, you know, nationally. Mm-hmm. Um, that that's kind of my grand vision because I, I see, I, I see the future and I see that it's changing. Real estate is five ten years from now. Real estate is not going to be the same at mm-hmm. all. It just won't. You know, there's too many. We're going to be three D printing houses. Uh, <laughs> it, it probably will, man. <laughs> um, no, I, there's too many big players that are stepping into this space and are really shaking it up. And it's got a lot of agents scared. Mm. It's got me excited. I'm excited about it. Yeah, honestly, because I like I like change. For um, sure, <laughs> you know, in in certain aspects, obviously within business, I love change because yeah. I think that's that drives you to uh, do new things mm-hmm. and try new things and grow in your skills and your knowledge, sure. and um, ultimately helps your business become a better business. Mm-hmm. So. Um, yeah, I, I, I see it being a national Or if you don't brand. adapt, it makes your business fail. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 So it, it's, it's, it's good. I think, you know, ultimately that's, that's what, you know, this world is and life is. It's, it's always mm-hmm. changing and the ones that are able to adapt to it and, um, accept it with open arms are the mm-hmm. ones that ultimately succeed. For sure. Yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. It's, it's evolution. <laughs> for sure, man. Yeah. And people are, you know, resilient to it for, for no reason because it's been happening mm-hmm. for centuries and and yet sometimes people are surprised by it so it's well yeah because some people they've been doing the same processes for decades mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> so yeah. within yeah. The, uh, the their scheme of things it's like they get caught in those processes that yeah. ultimately were serving them well five years ago but now are doing nothing for them so yeah. totally. <laughs> totally yep so yeah what's so, some of those processes uh, for, for you that you've uh, weeded out and improved um, I mean, really, it's the communication piece, so like emailing, texting, things like that. Mm-hmm. So my big goal is to help people throughout a real estate transaction, whether they're, whether they're purchasing or selling their home. Mm-hmm. I don't want them to worry about a thing. I don't want them to even have to come to me and ask me a question about what's this, when do we have to do this, when's this, when's that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All those things. So for me, that's where like the automation piece comes in. Mm-hmm. So I can set people up on a, you know, essentially a, a drip campaign um that's in accordance to certain dates and deadlines and things like that Mm -hmm. um and then really just hit them you know before they even realize they should ask about it um so like earnest money and uh inspections and appraisals and those are the big ones but um there's there's little ones here and there but you know if i can hit them with an email or text that's automated Mm -hmm. that obviously that frees up my time but it also provides value to them because Mm -hmm. then they're like oh wow cool. All right. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't know that. So I now I don't even have to think about it or ask about it or, or, or do any of that. So exactly, yeah. that's, that's kind of the big thing is like trying to, trying to hit people with, with answers to questions they don't have quite yet. Yeah. But, but they're, <laughs> but they would have, you know what I mean? Cause I've, sure. I've been through it enough to know that like, you know, these are the typical like big questions that people ask. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, if I can hit it before they even ask them, you know, yeah, that's to me, it's just, that's the value piece. It's like value, value, value. For sure. Yeah. yeah. That's even, that's even better if you get it before they even think about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. It shows that you're an expert too, and that you know what you're doing too. Yeah. And just put it, it's just all around, I think better business practice, you know, yeah. makes them feel at ease. Mm-hmm. It's, that's great, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so is this your first business that you've started? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, officially, yeah. I okay. mean, real estate in general is pretty, uh, you know, it's it's kind of your own thing. Yeah, um, yeah. For the most part, because mm-hmm. you are your own brand and you are, you are your own service. You're responsible for the money you make. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> There's no yeah. constant... Uh, mm-hmm. constant paycheck every every week or every other week. You have right. to sell to get that paycheck essentially. Yep. Yeah, for real estate. Totally. And maybe there's some so there's some ways that some businesses are structured mm-hmm. that do have uh, payroll with their real estate agents. I don't know. Yeah. I could assume that that's how some people have set their mm-hmm. stuff up. But yep. Yep. but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. So I mean, but I would say this like, for sure is like my. My my baby in terms of like the I started this is like mm-hmm. out of my own you know it's a, it, you have a vision and you you're shaking things up so, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean it's just it's been a few months yeah you know so but you know obviously have have that five years of experience mm-hmm. to kind of come into it which is which has been great so if is there anything or any reason why this model wouldn't work. And this is a question for you. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I honestly, I mean, I would say the only reason is not, you know, ultimately that's on me mm-hmm. to to continue to push and educate people yeah. and to show people that it's it's doable mm-hmm. and you're gonna get the same service, if not better. Um, then you're going to get with your traditional because you truly agent. believe that it's actually overpriced. Like, oh, I do, you, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like, it's it's mind blowing to me. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm if I'm being straight up honest with you mm-hmm. right now, whistle blow a little yeah. bit <laughs> for a listing. Um, I mean, obviously, there's there's a lot of work that goes into marketing and and follow up and mm-hmm. all that stuff before you get the listing, right? But like the listing itself, you know, realistically, I can I can probably work about 20 to 30 hours on one listing Mm -hmm. and that's that's over a month right so break that down you know probably one to two hours a day you Mm -hmm. know if you want to break it down to to kind of your daily yeah if you were to do a daily average totally Mm -hmm. so to make fifteen thousand dollars twelve thousand dollars we'll say for a four hundred thousand dollar house over 30 hours Mm -hmm. that's Mm mind-blowing right so it is expensive it is overpriced um, because I can, it's, it's such a saturated market, mm-hmm. you know, and, and just, just think about if, if you were to, to lower your price, if, if prices were to come down, let's just say to 1%, right? Mm-hmm. So a $400,000 house, you'd make $4,000. If prices were to come down to 1%, you sell four homes a year, which that's average. You're not going to be successful. You only, no. you're only making 16 K. You're going to need to pick up a, a full-time job. Totally. 100%. <laughs> so at that, but that will eliminate the saturation that's in the market right now with real estate agents. There's, mm-hmm. there's thousands and thousands of real estate of agents. people who aren't really about it and don't, they just got in it because their right. you know, brother right. needed the house right. or something. Yeah. Cause my ultimate goal is I want to be able to provide people, like I say, keep saying value, but education too. Like, obviously I can't help everybody buy a house in this city. I can't help mm-hmm. everybody sell a house in this city. So my, right. what I, what I strive to do is educate people so that when they go out and I'm busy and I can't take them on, that they can go out and they can ask the right questions when they interview agents and they can, you know, negotiate for themselves and mm-hmm. know what to expect. So I, I truly just, I, I want to give people, especially just in Colorado Springs, because I love Colorado Springs, but all mm-hmm. over the, the, the world and, and the states, a better experience overall. Because I've, yeah. I've, I've had too many discussions and it, and it hurts me and it makes me angry. Too many discussions with people that have had terrible, terrible, terrible experiences buying or selling a home. Mm-hmm. And does, they're paying $15,000 exactly, or something like that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, and it does not need to be that way. There's, there's tons of awesome agents in this, mm-hmm. in this city, but there's more agents that are not good at being a real estate agent. Mm-hmm. Just the sad truth. Yeah. It. Because it's so saturated and yeah. so... So, uh, I guess you could say MLM esque. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first MLM that was ever created, and it's still going strong. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So I just thought of a cool campaign for you. Yeah. Uh, you know, just imagine, like, just saying, just breaking down different things people could do with that extra seven thousand dollars that they'll be saving for sure. You know, just yep. be like. You know, you buy, you could buy this, you know, you could yeah. buy four used cars. You yeah, know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's funny because I've actually made a, a Facebook ad to that kind of extent okay. of like, what would you do with an extra $7,500 mm-hmm. in your pocket? 
You know, maybe you go on that trip you've always wanted to go on. Mm -hmm. Maybe you pay off that student loan debt so you're not having to worry about that anymore. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's, it's, that's what it is, you know? Yeah. Like, Cause a lot of people, you know, they're, when they're, they're dealing with $400,000, they're like, Oh, what's an extra $7,000. Well, right. what, what is that? Let me, t let me yeah, show you what right. that is. <laughs> right. That's yeah. a lot of Starbucks, right? Yeah, exactly. You know? So, but yeah, that's for me, that's, that's it. You know, like I want to be able to give people a better life, you know, mm -hmm. go on that vacation man. like, don't, don't even worry about it. Like I'll help you save some money and I'm going to be all right. You don't have to worry about me, but you get to go spend spend your life a little bit more, um, you know, you get to enjoy it a little bit more. Yeah, sweet, And, and man. Do, do what you want. <laughs> do that big trip. Buy that boat. Whatever it mm -hmm. is, you know. Yeah. Buy that boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything specific you'd like to promote, to promote today uh, before we start closing this out? Not, not really, man. I mean, it's just my flat fee. You know, if, if, if there's anyone out there that's mm -hmm. just curious, you know, and I think that's another big part, too, is like uh, – there's a lot of people that are afraid to even like come to me sometimes because I think they, they kind of put real estate agents in that kind of that lawyer accountant kind of mm -hmm. um, sector of like, oh, shoot, oh, I don't want to waste your time or I don't want to take your time or like mm. maybe you'll charge me money if I ask you questions like mm. hit me up. I'll go grab a cup of coffee with you, answer your questions. I just want to sure. help people. I just want to give people value. I want to help people. I want to make sure that they know what they're doing. And I want people to succeed in life. And I think that's that's what I'm trying to do through uh, real estate because it's it's such a huge um, step. It's mm -hmm. a huge moment in people's lives. And I want to be able to be a part of that and, yeah. and, and make it an enjoyable experience. I was just having an idea of uh, why wholesaling is making a resurgence is because of probably you know, these, these uh, expensive uh, fees. So you're kind of competing with that. Uh, uh, you're, you're helping it. I mean, that's where it's going, like you were saying. You're kind of yeah. helping it. Uh, you're just getting ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I mean, Zillow is is going to, they're doing everything they can to eradicate the real estate agent. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, they got a lot of money and they're um, they're doing whatever they can to try to make more of that money that real estate agents have given them. Um, so I'm trying to kind of get ahead of that because um, I think, you know, it's it's ultimately, you know, it's, it's, it's coming. So yeah, the, the, light, sure. the light is there, but... Um, you know, five, 10 years from now, it's going to be a whole new landscape. Definitely. Well, all right, man. It's been great having you on the show. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So this has been the COS business podcast, the number one podcast in Colorado Springs, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. All right. <laughs>